First at 6 o'clock, how young is too young to start talking about sex? Some parents participating in a protest called Sex Ed Sit Out are demanding schools take a second look at how they teach sexual health. Tonight, KXAN's Eugene Show heard from some of those parents. She discovered how Central Texas schools approach this subject. Trading in a typical Monday. For a day at Zilker Park, a handful of parents kept their kids home to protest what they call graphic sex ed programs taught at schools. Teaching a child that they are sexual in nature and and when that happens, they start to engage sooner in sexual activity. Austin ISG told us in a statement they have a curriculum called Human Sexuality. For elementary students, it's once a year focusing on friendship. For older students, it's about knowledge related to sexuality. A lesson these protesters say doesn't belong in classrooms. As a teacher, I was hired to do reading, writing, and math. as. Uh, Academics is what I was hired to do as a teacher and went to college for. We also live in a society where a lot of parents don't know what to tell their kids about sex. Corey Tabor works with Lifeguard, which partners with 13 local districts and teaches sex ed to middle and high school students, covering abstinence and contraception. We're more like the cool aunt or uncle that comes in to say what the parents probably would say, but we have the data that a lot of parents don't have. Austin ISD and many Central Texas school districts stress that parents can review the curriculum by contacting your school's principal. If you don't agree, you can make opt-out arrangements. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. Other school districts use different programs. The Mainer ISD uses the Baylor Scott and White Wellness and Sexual Health Program that is abstinence based for sixth, seventh, and eighth grades. The Hay CISD used the Big Decisions Program, which is abstinent plus, and it's for their high school. Sex education in schools across the United States faces requirement changes after the recently passed bipartisan budget bill. According to the new law, sex ed must be medically accurate and complete, meaning the arguments for avoiding sexual risk need to have verified research to back them up instead of just saying don't do it. Other requirements include that What's being taught needs to be age appropriate based on adolescent learning and developmental theories and culturally appropriate.